What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it with another fantasy booking video for you guys, and it's my favorite pay-per-view of the year. We got the Royal Rumble upon us. Super excited for the Royal Rumble. I feel like this year is very up in the air. There's a lot of people that could possibly win it. There's a lot of just speculation. Like, there's no, I don't think there's any concrete winners on either the men's or the women's side. I feel like a lot of stuff is up in the air, man, but this show is pretty stacked. I'm happy, I think, with every match, maybe outside of Becky Lynch's match. But if I think we're set for a good little show here. We may have one or two more added. Probably not, though, because we do have the two Rumbles here. But Friday Night SmackDown hasn't happened yet, so some more things could occur, which is probably why I'm waiting on my predictions for tomorrow. I think tomorrow morning, my predictions should go up as well as some other things. It'll probably be a double upload today and tomorrow, so you guys can just get used to that there. But today, we're fantasy booking the Royal Rumble, man, and I cannot wait to get into it with you. If you guys don't know how these videos work, basically, Vince McMahon hands me the keys to the kingdom and says, you get to do whatever the hell you want to do with this show. I get, to, I get to say who the winner is. I get to fantasy book it exactly my way going up into WrestleMania here. So that's what we're going to do today, man. Hope you guys do enjoy. Let me know your fantasy booking down in the comment section below and let me know what you think of my fantasy booking. Now with the Royal Rumble, it's actually kind of tricky. It's not anything cut and dry. There's a lot of options you can go with. And I'm not going to go just completely fantasy realm, just like, you know, go get freaking Hulk Hogan and bring him in and win the Royal Rumble. You know what I'm saying? Or revive Chris Benoit from the dead and he wins the Royal Rumble. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be that crazy out of the box. It's going to be some somewhat realistic and in the universe of possibilities. So that's what we're going with it today. Now to be quite honest with you, this video is a little bit difficult to make also because I don't really have anybody that could dethrone Brock Lesnar or Roman Reigns. I'm just going to put that out there right now. I don't think e either of them should lose the title right now. And for those reasons, it, again, it makes today's video a little bit more difficult. But we're going to shut the hell up and dive into it, man. Let's start off with the first matchup on the card just to get this out of the way. Becky Lynch versus Dewdrop. Just give me Becky Lynch. I'm just going to have Becky Lynch win here. Uh, the, the Dewdrop Drops a young talent. She's good. She's up and coming and everything. I just don't think this is her moment here. And I just don't see the point in her winning the championship right here. Becky Lynch needs to tote the title here. Carry it on into WrestleMania because I got some good stuff for her here. But uh, Becky Lynch retains her championship. It's the only way to go. Now that we got that out of the way, guys, let's move on to Edge and Beth Phoenix taking on Maurice and Miz. Now, this matchup, this matchup right here. Now, I have the Maurice like figure with the high heels on it. I don't know what happened to it. I, I can't find it anywhere. Pretty upsetting. I know it's somewhere. Uh, is it down here? Here? I can't find it, man. Just screw it. It's up here somewhere. I'll find it eventually. Very upsetting. Nonetheless, I have Edge and Beth Phoenix winning here. I know Miz and Maurice are the power couple and, and everything like that, but I think Edge and Beth Phoenix get the win here. I know Edge already won. He already beat the Miz and everything, but I think they get the victory again. I just don't want to give Miz and Maurice anything. You know, they got their shows. They got their everything. Give Edge some more momentum here going into the WrestleMania season and give him the dub here. I mean, the, uh, I, I, I hope to God that we do don't get a Miz versus Edge match on the end of WrestleMania. If I was fantasy booking this, I would have Edge win, go into the Royal Rumble, him and AJ Styles get tied up, and then I would have AJ Styles versus Edge at WrestleMania. That's what I would try to book towards. So that would be my fantasy booking. Somehow get me to AJ Styles versus Edge at WrestleMania, and that can only come by Edge defeating Miz here, getting some momentum on his side going into the, into the legendary status there. Moving on forward, guys, we do have Roman Reigns taking on Seth freaking Rollins. I have a couple ways this could go. I might explain both. I may not, but they tie into the Men's Royal Rumble, so let's go ahead and get into it. You can do one of two things. You can either have Roman retain, and that be the option. He goes on to WrestleMania with the Universal Championship, or you could have Seth Rollins in the reign of Roman Reigns take the Universal Championship and then have Kevin Owens win the Royal Rumble, and it be Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins Universal Championship at WrestleMania. But after the 500-day reign of Roman Reigns, I feel like the best thing to do would be for Roman to retain. So I think I'd have Roman retain. This is just a little background plan that I had right there. So Roman Reigns retains the Universal Championship over Seth Rollins. You know, great little hard-fought battle here, but Seth Rollins does come up short. It'd be cool to see Seth win, but I have I have Roman Reigns getting the dub there. Now we go into our WWE Championship match. Before we get to the Men's Rumble, I would have Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley. Same deal. Same deal here. I think we're in for a clash of the Titans, but I think Brock Lesnar retains the WWE Championship. If Bobby Lashley were to win... I just don't see Bobby Lashley winning the championship because I feel like Brock Lesnar with the title is much more representative of Mania. It's a bigger match. It's all these different things. So Brock Lesnar and Roman are both going to retain their championships, correct? Anyways, Brock Lesnar wins over Bobby Lashley, all right? So both champions retain. There was an instance. I can't remember how exactly I placed it. I could have swore. Like, I, ha I had this whole deal where it ended up being, I think Bobby beat Brock, and then Brock entered the Rumble, won the Rumble, and then went on to challenge Roman. But then he ended up getting the title 
I, I can't remember how the hell I did it. Just F it. Just F all that. All right, we get to the men's rumble. Screw it. Let's do the women's rumble first. So we get to the women's rumble. All the women are doing war. I think we will see a Bailey return in this thing, and I think she probably will win it. We'll find out my predictions tomorrow when I finally scale everything I want to say. But I would say number 30 is Rowdy Ronda Rousey, and Rowdy Ronda Rousey comes out, wins the Royal Rumble, challenges Becky Lynch at WrestleMania, and you could even take it a step further where I think it actually goes hand in hand with the men's where we're where they're kind of leading towards unifying the championships. So you could even throw Charlotte or the SmackDown Women's Champion, whoever that may be at the time, throw her in there, triple threat for both championships. You know, you get your little rematch of the, of the previous WrestleMania match. Then you have your unification championship match on the men's side as well. But this is how I book it, man. Though the women's division has been super lacking since Ronda left. We need Ronda back heavily, man. We need Ronda back heavily. So I would have Ronda return to face Becky for the championship, potentially both championships. And then for the men's side, what a doozy. You got all the men doing war. And number 30, you never see it coming, Brad. Now, I know a lot of people think The Rock, you know, set up Roman's match. I think that's a year away or so. I think in this year's Rumble, I know it would blow everyone's mind. And I'm fantasy booking this, all right? Fantasy booking this. But at number 30 is The Fiend Bray Wyatt. Now, I, I don't know. Like, if you guys haven't paid attention, like, they still push a ton of Fiend merch. Like, we still got the Burnt Fiend figure. We're getting the Fiend Ultimate Edition, the second release. It should be at my door literally today. It may even be outside right now on my front doorstep. Review coming soon. That could be a thing. But what if they change who The Fiend is? You know, The Fiend is just a character. If he has his gloves and all this other stuff on, they could put a new guy in the makeup or in the mask or in the whole gimmick there. So I could see that potentially happening. I don't know why. I even tweeted this out a few weeks ago or maybe it was last week sometime. I tweeted out that I had this funny feeling. I don't know why, but I feel like Bray Wyatt or The Fiend in some way. I don't know if it'll be Bray. I don't know if it'll be Wyndham Rotunda. I don't know what the case is there or if it'll be The Fiend character with the mask and the whole deal. I feel like whoever that is will be number 30 in the Royal Rumble. And I don't know why, but I have The Fiend slash Bray Wyatt winning the Royal Rumble. I don't know. Again, I, I don't know. Remember when, when WWE posted their release of Bray Wyatt, it was the release of Bray Wyatt. They didn't release Wyndham Rotunda. At least they didn't say that, I don't think. I want to say the tweet said Bray Wyatt. If they just released Bray Wyatt, maybe it'll be a new character of Wyndham Rotunda. I don't know. Maybe it's all mind games. Maybe. I don't know. It's just all weird. That's what I'm saying. All I'm saying is I'm having a tingle that The Fiend or Bray Wyatt will be in this Royal Rumble and he's going to win. He's going to come out at number 30 and that's what that's what I'm going to fantasy book anyways. So I'd have The Fiend come out and win it. They dropped the ball so many times, but this would be really cool to get all that momentum back there. They've done a dreadful job. I don't know why he'd want to come back or anything like that, but in my fantasy booking, man, he's coming back and he's winning the damn thing. So The Fiend, Ronda Rousey, book it. Let's get it. And if that doesn't happen, then give me the unification match, Brock and Roman. Whether Brock loses or Roman loses, they uh, one of them enters the Rumble, wins the Rumble, and then challenges the other, and then ends up getting the chat. That's where it gets iffy, is like, how do you get the both championships there? But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up my fantasy booking video. A little bit crazy. We're going to have my predictions tomorrow, which will give you all my full-fledged thoughts on every matchup. We'll break it down. I'll give you my predictions to what I actually think is going to take place. But today is just having a little fun with it and giving you guys some fantasy ideas. Let me know your ideas down below. Maybe you got some crazy conspiracy theories theories you can let me know all those down in the comment section but i'm getting the hell out of there man give me ronda rousey give me bray wyatt or give me a damn dolph ziggler rumble win how about that hell i'd take kevin owens too kevin owens would be beautiful too give me give my boy a win there finn balor so just toss one of my boys a bone damn it you crossed the line i've been